Hey, sneaking in back. Now on the screen here, you see, I've got Grub. And under Grub, I've got Browser Linux 400. Da, 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 da. Now, Browser Linux, based on Puppy Linux, is basically for browsing. Now, I've just installed it, and this is the reboot screen, and we have to go through this one time, and we do it. Then after that, we won't get all these questions all the bleeding time. So basically, it's probably my video hardware. Remember, it's based on Loopy as well. Or Loopy, or Loopy Loopy Loopy. That's my resolution. We click OK there, and all should be hunky of the dory in a minute. There you go, see I told you. Five, four, three, one, and we should get a nice full screen. And there we are, Browser Linux 400. Bit grey, but a bit more blue this time. As you can see, it is basically just for browsing, although there are other programs hidden if you really want to look hard enough. So, yeah. So, for your, your default browser, we've got Fire of the Fox, or Firefox 4 even. So, I know it's only a beta, but it's probably better than 3.6.9, to be really honest with you. So, yeah, works really nice and quick comes as standard. Bearing in mind the ISO is only 94 megabytes, so it ain't going to take you long to download. Installation's a breeze if you want to install it. If not, just keep a save file and just use a disk, whatever you want to do, mate. Now, that's the home page, is the browser link search page. Not too fond of it, personally, at the moment, but I might get used to it, might I? We'll wait and see, really. So anyway, that's that. Now, also on this ISO, we have all these. We have the Google Chrome thing there. Doesn't mean you've got Google Chrome, just means you can have it. But this is the bit I like, the App Starter. Now this is really, really nice. Now I think there should be a link to this on the screen on boot, personally. It'd make it so much more easier. As you can see, you've got nearly everything there you need if you're only doing a bit of browsing. I'll open up the processes. Look, this is not really any memory and any part of the CPU whatsoever. So it's really light. Be okay for quite old machines, I reckon. Although, if it's a really old machine, there is an older one you can use, which will probably work with the older kernel, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, automatic connection to the internet, by the way, if you're using Ethernet. If not, you have to go to the setup section. You only get one wallpaper. Hey, I don't like decorating anyway, do you? Nah. So say we wanted to get Google Chrome. Well, here we are, and you'll see, well, how am I going to get Google Chrome? Well, remember, Loopy, or uh, Puppy Linux 5, can use a Debian repos. So basically what we do is download Google Chrome. Now I've got a 32-bit here, so we just click 32-bit for Debian Ubuntu. And we put a little doofer in there. Of course, because it's Google Chrome, we have to say yes to the, all the stuff there. But hey, if you want it, you can have it. It's up to you. You can always get Chromium at the end of the day if you really wanted to. So what I'm going to do now is open it with pet-get. Now, it's quite a long download. Cause, you know, it's not too bad, but hey. If you open it with pet-get, it will start installing. Immediately, it's downloaded. As you can see, I'll sped the video up there a little bit because it was a bit slow, sort of. But yeah, there we go. So we're all downloaded, and we'll just wait a bit. Do order install it. Well, yes, of course, don't be stupid. We click OK, and it starts doing the installing for us. It doesn't take long, really. If you, it all depends on what machine you've got. Obviously, if you've got an old machine, it's going to take a long while. But you remember, it's going to be machine-specific for all the times here, so just be careful when you're doing it, because like, some of you don't read documents, do you, and you just don't wait. Oh, look, it's been installed. So all I do now is click OK. That's good for me. Click OK. Tango bar comes up, goes away. We wait a few seconds just to make sure there we are. And this is our uh, user share applications file that's in the deep depths of the distro. And we're all in there. So that's pretty super duper cool, isn't it? So we'll get rid of that. Close that box. Well, we'll close that box there as well. And we'll close that box there as well. And now, in theory, we should be able to open Google Chrome up. Remember, in Puppy, it's one click only, not a double. So don't make a fuel of yourself. Start Google Chrome. Look at that. Straight in. Now, whether that was any quicker than Firefox, I don't know. I don't think it was, personally. But hey, some of you may differ on your opinions on that one. But hey, I'm going to put browser in here and see if we can search something. Use one of the search bots we've got here. What should we use? You know what? For Uncle Bill, I'm going to use Bing. So we'll click on Bing, and it comes up. You know what? That's probably one of the first times I've used Bing, to be honest with you. I've got no need for it, really. So here we go. Here's the browser link's home page. Here's the latest one, the 400BS. You can use the Debian stuff in it if you want to. And if you've got like, an EPC and stuff like that, that's a nice page. There is older versions here if you want to. Don't forget you can put it on a USB stick or an SD card. If you've got a netbook, SD card recommended for me, because that means you can have as many distros as you like, don't you? Really, yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty super cool. Evil do for do for do for wasn't it? What else can I show you? Um, it's got a file manager, text editor. We'll go back to more apps. Basically, that that's all you get with browser links. So if you want to do video editing and stuff like that, it ain't for you, really. It is just for browsing at the end of the day. I don't even know what a music player is, but it'll, it'll play music. That's all it does. All the basics. 
bearing in mind it's under 100 megs at the download a super fast install you don't even have to install it you can run it from the disk if you want to or whatever so yeah pretty cool it's a lot lot better than the last browser that i reviewed which was an awful long time ago now it might have been the beginning of the year so it will get on these for nine ten months so he's come on like a lot of the distros that are using lupu it's really come on although some of you don't like it because it uses ubuntu and debian oh, fickle fickle lot you are sometimes anyway i'm going to put puppy linux in the search by this time but i won't use uncle bill this time i'll go and use the other uncle uncle gog whatever you want to call him there we go, Papillance Community, Papillance Home Page, but we'll go to the Community Page. There we go. This is not the best Puppy Page, actually, to be really honest with you. There are some better ones to to start from. This one is a bit not good. What I'll do, I might put something in the description of a different page to go to if you want a better description of it. Anyway, so that's Browse Linux 400. You've got an old machine lying around you want to do stuff with, and you just want to browse on it, so like for your mum or your nan or something like that, this could be the one for you. I like it, it's alright, not too bad at all. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go sneaky, Linux, and go in down to the shop to get some cider. See you later.